Hey, what is up everyone? This is Radioactive Fry SNG continuing this playthrough of Super Mario World for the SNES. In the last episode, we went through World 1, we found out that Princess Peach and Yoshi's friends were all captured by Bowser. And uh, we went through Yoshi's Island World 1, we defeated Iggy Koopa and got the Yellow Switch Palace. So yeah, we're going to be going into World 2 today, we're going to be going into Donut Plains. But before we begin, I would like to ask y'all to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 35 likes. That'd be highly appreciated. Thank y'all so much for all the support. Make sure to drop some comments down below and yeah so like i said we're gonna be going into donut plains today a much much bigger area than yoshi's island as you can see we kind of have to zoom in or zoom in to uh yoshi's island whenever you go into that said area but when you're in donut plains it's kind of this whole general area right here it's kind of it's much bigger to where you can zoom out and stuff and with that being said this video might be a bit longer than yoshi's island um but I'm going to try and compress as many of the stages into one video as possible as far as like exits and stuff. So there might be a bit of editing and stuff to show off all of the hidden exits and stuff. So yeah, we're going to be going into Donut Plains. So yeah, here we go. Alright, so there's something very interesting whenever you first come to this stage. Um, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure everyone has played this game before, but if you have not and you hit this first little uh, Koopa right here who has like a cape and we take it from him, we take his cape and basically we can fly now. So yeah, you can see us kind of fly around and stuff. We can use this to our advantage and holy crap. <laughs> Alright, um, but basically we can use that to fly around and stuff and actually break a lot of the stages. Like, we can pretty much use this to cheat the game in a few stages. Not that many, um, but you can kind of do this and just float through an entire stage. I'm not going to be doing that though. I'd actually like to um, show off the stages and stuff. But um, there's a general misconception with this game. People like to think that you can fly through the entirety of this game for some reason. I'm not really sure why. But um, I would probably say the amount of stages you can actually fly through, you can probably count on one hand. Like, that's there's like not that many. And the stages that actually do, the, it's actually the ones that are like obvious. They want you to fly, like, they want you to fly through them. Because there's like coins and stuff up here. There's like all kind of hidden stuff. So obviously, they want you to, to take advantage of the uh, cape. And um, yeah, that's pretty much that. So we're gonna actually be going through this pipe. I actually love this, this um, what I like to call this like a morning sky right here. How you kind of see it looks like kind of like a sunny day or something. Because when you go into this pipe right here, it kind of looks a little bit different. It's kind of like a blue sky now. I actually really love like these little touches on these uh, two areas. And um, yeah, we're gonna be coming through here. If you don't already know, um, they're gonna tell, they're gonna teach you how to. Um, do what I just did to fly through the air and uh, yeah so basically that's what we're gonna be doing right here we're gonna be giving up Yoshi because we can't fly with Yoshi here but you can kind of practice right here and um, get good at as far as like um, doing this little trick right here it's like the game they, the game wants you to learn the, these moves so it's not like you're breaking the game like people say and once again you can only do this in certain stages like there's less than maybe five or six i don't know in the entire game to where you can actually fly through the through a stage and uh yeah so i like this little blue area and then we come back out into this nice morning sky or something i don't know i just like to call it that but all right but we're gonna get our yoshi back and yeah let's get moving so there is a get away you can actually use the cape is actually very broken in this game let me just say that right now you can actually use your cape to uh, do a lot of stuff besides um, actually flying. You can use it to cancel out these little baseballs that are actually really annoying. Uh, you can actually use it to just like spin attack and kill enemies and stuff. And there's, like I said, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this cape. And uh, yeah, so what is this you're wondering? What is like, if you remember, we had like the same little um like these little outlines for a block the last episode we had like these yellow ones so that means that we have another switch palace up ahead in this world and uh yeah just keep that in mind for now because we will be coming back to that in a bit but there we go so what happens when you get over 100 bonus stars from hitting the tape? You get a bonus game. So basically, you're trying to match whatever um, is on there. I'm not doing a good job of it, actually. <laughs> um, there's actually, like, really good... Sp there's actually, like, spots that will automatically give you, like... Like, if I stayed right here, I'd have got complete uh, flowers. It's, like, really... It's, like, some kind of trick to it. I don't always remember it. I know if you have a, f a firepower and you stay, like, in the far left area, you always get a star. Um, so there's like tricks to it that I that I'll be trying to show, but 
yeah, we'll be going into Donut Plains 2 next with Luigi. We'll finally get to be playing with Luigi in this episode. So here we go. Going into Donut Plains 2. It is a underground stage. So yeah, um, I really do like the background here. It's actually really, really awesome. I only see this background like maybe once or twice uh, in the entire game. I think it's a really nice looking background though. Compared to the, I guess like if you played the original Mario, the the um, like Mario One and Three, they kind of have like these pipe backgrounds because Mario's a plumber and stuff. But this is actually like a cave or something, like an actual cave background. So I, I actually really really like the way this stage looks and whatnot. All right, but uh, we got our first cave with Luigi now. I don't know, something about Luigi always looks more awesome than Mario in this game. Is it just me? Please tell me I'm not the only person who thinks, like, Luigi looks more awesome. Maybe it's just, like, his purple overalls. Like, I, I always, I don't know. It's something about, like, his look in this game. Like, especially with the cape. He just looks like my more favorite character to play with in this game. And there it is again. More outlines for blocks. Hmm. I wonder. Actually, what I'm going to be doing right here is pretty much skipping the stage. <laughs> if you go through that pipe right there, um... You can actually get a quick little skip right there and instead of having to go through an entire stage and if you want to uh, you can actually go through this little pipe right here and you'll pretty much end the stage uh, so yeah that's just a little shortcut right there but we're gonna be going all the way up into this hidden little spot and when you go through this spot you get a switch palace all right so we got the green switch palace uh, we're gonna be going here with Mario so here we go Bam, bam, bam. I don't ever end up coming here with Yoshi's. It's kind of weird. And we're probably not even going to get to use it. Oh, well. <laughs> like, this is definitely not a stage that you need to bring Yoshi in. So, uh, you do get one extra life if you do that right, though. But I'm not going to be doing it. So, hitting this will give us um, green blocks instead of the outlines now. So, if you remember that, we're going to be backtracking to that previous stage that had it. So, yeah. We have two stages that will actually affect this. All right, there we go. Got a little slowdown right there. Yes, we will save. And we will come back. We're going to actually go to this stage right here. I'll meet y'all back at that little area that had the green uh, outline. So I'll see y'all in a second. All right, so we're back and we're actually right around the same area. Yes, if you remember this, um, we, we have the same little blocks that turned into actual full-size blocks now. If we don't have a Yoshi, we, we can run up here. Kind of like how we did in that one pipe section, how you just kind of run up. Uh, but we're going to actually be uh, flying up. And um, something, if you just notice, if you hit these, um, feathers will come out. So these are actually my favorite blocks for that reason. And yeah, like they're really awesome for that. So cool. And we're just going to kind of fly up here because we want to keep our Yoshi. And we're going to go through this secret exit right here. <laughs> All right, and there we go. So we have our first secret area of this uh, of this world. So what we're gonna be doing is going through Donut Plains 2 though this time. I'll meet y'all back at the, um, closer to the exit. All right, so we're right around the same exact area as before. We're gonna be uh, continuing on. There's a few new enemies in this stage that you're gonna be seeing a little bit. We have these little bats that are actually really annoying. Get out of here, bats. Um, they just kind of swipe, they just fly in and hit you. They're especially annoying in the GBA version because of the screen limitations, but they're not too bad in this stage. Um, but there's other times where they're really bad. And then we have Buzzy Beetles. Yes, the classic enemy Buzzy Beetle from Mario 1. They're back in this game. As usual, you can't kill them with fireballs, so keep that in mind. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, you don't want to pick these up, though, because um, they actually they actually like flip over really quick and um you'll take a hit when they do that when they do that so i have to be really really careful as far as those things i feel like mario 3 has like the fastest time as far as like koopas and buzzy beetles flipping back over um like they actually i like the thing i like about those games is that they actually kind of warned you because you can kind of see the koopas like their little feet trying to come out of there but in this game they just kind of do like this little shaking animation you can't even see it like when you're moving so it's kind of annoying in that way all right but here we are at the end of the stage is there gonna be another buzzy beetle because i want to show something no there won't be all right um there's actually something i really really wanted to show but i'll probably just finish this stage and then come back one more time to show y'all something so yeah that's pretty much the normal exit for the stage right there all right so we're gonna be um 
we're going to be going into the first secret area of this world. So we're going to be going into Donut Secret 1. We're in a little puddle of water, so hmm. Could that be a water stage? Yes, it is. All right, so here we are. I never understood this, um, but in the SNES version, the pipe is like super low right here. Like you have no room. In the GBA version, they kind of fix it to where you have a little bit of room. Um, just something really small to note right there. But this is the first water stage of the game. We have cheap cheeps. We have these little green fish. I'm not sure what they are. Um, and then we have these things called rip van fish that will chase you for getting too close to them. But it seems like this one hasn't woken up. There we go. Yeah, these things will try and chase you and kill you, so... Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Let's go into this pipe right here. Because there is a secret power up here that I do want to show. So if we, if you get this, um, you will turn into a, a balloon. And kind of float around. You can kind of control yourself really well. And um, there should be some dragon coins up here somewhere. So let's see. I think there's like two up here, so... Oh, we're, we're turning. No. Uh, no. Actually, I think. Okay, there we go. What the heck? I wasn't even. <laughs> like, aren't they supposed to spawn at the top? I, like, flipped with. Okay, that was a really. I wouldn't say it's a glitch, but that was really, really weird. That was really weird. I'm going to have to look at the. Re like, I'm going to have to look back at the footage on that one. Because that really threw me off. If you fall right here, though, there, there is a power up right there. But I don't want a, a fly power, so. Um, that's pretty much just a little item I want to show right there. Alright, here we are back into this stage again. If I remember correctly... No, there isn't a... Okay, so only in the GBA version there's a, a checkpoint on the stage. I guess they don't feel like the stage is long enough for that. So, yeah. Uh, we're gonna take this piece switch because this is gonna be very, very important in a second. So let's just move upwards with it. Spit it out right here. Get away, stupid rip van fish. I hate these things. All right, so if you hit this right here, what is that? We got another key. So yeah, we're just getting all the secret exits right here. And there we go. All right, so that is the secret exit right there for Donut uh, Secret 1. But like I said, we're going to be coming back to this stage right quick because there was one little small thing I wanted to note, but I thought that there was a buzzy beetle closer to the end of the stage for it. So I will see y'all there. All right, so we're back with this uh, with a buzzy beetle this time. If you actually go through a pipe with a shell and there's an enemy inside, it'll actually just like disappear miraculously. So um, yeah, I actually wanted to come through this little pipe right here. This is the other exit out of the stage, and I just want to note this right here that if you come outside of a, of an underground area with the buzzy beetle, that the shell is actually black. I think this is really cool because it's the only time you can actually see this in effect. Um, I think it's really cool, like a really small detail in this game that um, I, I think is the most awesome thing. Because if, you, if you've ever played Mario 1 or the Lost Levels, you know that the Buzzy Beetles are blue underground, just like in this game. And then and then the few that you do see um, outside are black, just like the ones we've seen. But you never see these things um, above ground in this game. So I think that's a really small little detail that's pretty awesome right there. I don't know. It might be just me being... Um, like a nerd or whatever but we're gonna be coming back to this stage right here going back to donut secret one getting the normal exit so i'll meet y'all right around the same area where the p-switch was all right so we're back after getting raped by some freaking rip van fish i lost my yoshi and uh yeah we're right around the same area with the p-switch so we're just gonna continue on and find the normal exit if you just continue forward past the keyhole um you should be able to find holy crap this thing's still chasing me all right let's just go up here though because there's like you can actually go up this way just kind of take an alternate route from there. All right, but there we go. I'm actually going to switch out my item because I do want another uh, cape feather. There we go. Or it's going to fly away. Never mind. <laughs> I hate when it does that. Like when you're in the water, it, it sometimes does that. It doesn't always do it. So yeah, that's the normal exit for the stage right there. And doing that will bring you straight to the same ghost house that uh, Donut Plains 2 did. So that's that. Um, the next couple of stages will be Ghost House. So, because we have this one and this one. Uh, but we're going to be going to the normal one first because there are two exits for the stage as well. So, let us go to Donut Ghost House. And one little small thing to note is that when it's morning and you're on the stage, there's like little clouds right there. And then when you're like in the night area, there's no clouds. I don't know. It's just something weird I want to mention. But um, yeah, this stage right here, man, I don't like this. I don't like this Ghost House at all. Um, there's, if you, uh, do, if you fly up here, you can find the secret exit. Really, really easy to find. Almost, um, 
it's pretty much you know you know how Nintendo is with their level design. It's not even surprising that they did that. All right, but we have to be careful because these the ghosts in this area. If you stay around here too long, they kind of get low and then start to try and hit you. But there we go. That is the normal exit. You know you're in a secret area when the doors are blue, so keep that in mind. And there we go. Alright, so that was the secret exit right there. Doing that will bring you to this area up here called Top Secret Area. So yes, if you um, get that secret area, you can go to Top Secret Area. It's actually pretty awesome because um, coming here, well, if you actually come here, you can get any items you need um, like this. You can get yourself a Yoshi, get yourself a cape, anything you need right here. Um, that's what this area is for. I find it really awesome that it's here. Um, so what we're going to be doing is coming over to this other ghost house right here. Donut Secret House. It's not a ghost house. I don't know why they call it Secret House. I think they fix it in the other... I think they just call it uh, go, um, Donut Ghost House? Secret House? I don't know. I think it's something. it's named something else in the GBA version. But here we go again, going into another ghost house right here. Uh, one thing you're going to notice is that it's actually dark outside for some reason on this area. Um, like the, like if on the original stage, like you can kind of see a little light outside, but this one, there's no, it's kind of dark in the background. I don't know. All right. But, uh, we have a couple little enemies on the stage. These little spinning ones, the spinning circle of boos is called boo buddies. That's an eerie kind of floating around. And then we have a big boo right here. If you wait long enough, you can kind of see them, uh, do like a little animation to see if you're still looking at him. But you want to use that spring to jump over that big boo, and that's pretty much that. Alright. There is a power up right there, but I don't want a, fl a fl flower power. Um, for whatever reason, you're going to learn that I don't really care for, for uh, fire flowers in this game. It's just a little weird thing f with me with this uh, game. Like, I love them in Mario 3 and, and the first Mario and like every other game. But for some reason, the cape just feels more like it needs, it's like the gameplay you need as far as like um, Super Mario World. But we pick up this switch right here. We have a secret door, so yes. And that is the normal exit for the stage. We'll be coming back to look at the hidden, ex hi hidden exit in a second. So there we go though. Alright, there we go. Every time you beat a ghost house, you do get the option to save, and I'm going to do that every time. But we're going to be coming back to Donut Ghost House right here, and seeing the normal exit for this stage. Now, this area is actually really easy. Like I said, look at the, the background. It's like light outside. I found that really interesting. That um, in this version, they... Like, in, in the other one, they don't have light. It's so weird. But, um... Yeah, um, one little thing to mention, you can actually just fly up and beat the stage, that's the, the exit for the stage. But I'm gonna explain this little uh, puzzle really quick, um, you just go through the door twice and you're done. <laughs> but um, I do want to bring this little room up right here, if you hit this, uh, if you hit this, you have this really green room, I'm not really sure why this room is so green, but I find it really like awesome, I don't know, it's just like this really weird room that I always would like come to, just to like do that, I don't know. It's really awesome though. There's like no point to it. You can just kind of rack up some coins here. That's kind of what I'm going to be doing. So you can pretty much control that. Um, you can control that that little line of coins. Let me. Um, I didn't even mention that. But yeah, um, basically you go through this door twice. You don't have to hit this P switch. Um, I always thought when I was a kid that you had to to trigger the um, the hidden exit. So. Yeah, you just need to go through the door twice and you're done. Like I said, um, normal exits will have like the normal colored doors and then the secret exit will have a blue door. So that's the normal exit for the stage. And yeah. And Mario beating the stage somehow miraculously makes a whole river. Like, where did that come from? <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're going to be coming back to this other ghost house really quick again. So I'll see y'all right around that last room that we found the secret exit in. Alright, so we're right around the same area again. Um, basically, we're going to be finding the secret exit right here. Um, if I remember correctly... Nope? Okay. Maybe I'm thinking of the GBA version, but there's like no... Um, what is it? 
There's like no dragon coins on this version, so I don't even know why I thought to do that. But basically hitting the uh, switch right here is actually more obvious than the other exit. But if you hit this up here, and then you come up there, yeah, there's a secret exit right here. And we have ourselves a big boo battle. So yeah, we're just basically hitting this boo with um, with uh, some blocks, some grab blocks. I don't know what's their official name, but they're, I call them grab blocks because that's pretty much what you use them for. It's like the same way they're used in Mario 3. They just look different and you can actually kick them upwards now. And like I said, this is actually how you're gonna have to beat the final boss of this game. So it's just a little foreshadowed. I guess the, the creators think that you're gonna beat the game first before you find this area. I don't know. But there we go, that's uh, the ghost house right there. And beating that will give you your first area into a star road. All right, so um, yeah, that's pretty much most of the secret areas. We're gonna be, um, let's actually go to Star Wars so I can show y'all what it looks like so far. Um, that's gonna be another episode, but this is Star Road. There's five different areas and different worlds you can actually find these, uh, the stages to and connect them all. But we're gonna be coming into our first, one of our, another secret area and get a nice little view of Bowser. Bowser's uh, castle and whatnot. We're gonna be coming for you, Bowser. We're gonna get our princess back, but that'll be a little later. Yeah, you can kind of see this nice little view and stuff. I really love the music for uh, that area, like Valley of Bowser. We're gonna be going into Donut Secret 2. All these secret stages in it, and we're only in Donut Secret 2, are you kidding me? All right, but um, here we go. We have ourselves a ice stage? Why do we have ourselves ice stage? I'm not really sure. That's, I don't know. But uh, basically you need to hit this right here and then climb yourself up there. Kind of move that off to the side. And uh, as soon as you hit this, you need to immediately get moving. Here we go. Because um, I'm going to show you why. You just want to move as fast as possible. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, not even bad. We're actually moving along nicely. So if you do get that second one, now you can start to rack up some points. Now you can get some extra lives. Really short stage if you have the star. That's that. Really short stage. But there we go. Kind of see Mario slipping around. I don't know. The ice physics in this game really don't bother me. I know a lot of people hate ice physics. But myself personally, I don't really have a problem with them. But uh, beating that stage will bring you all the way here. Uh, Donut Plains 3. Uh, for whatever reason, if you don't like the ghost house and you don't like Donut Secret or Donut Plains 2, you can kind of uh, change your mind and just take this way right here. But I don't know. Anyway, we're going into Donut Plains 3. For some reason, they want you to play this stage. This is one of the first platforming stages. Um, there's always going to be kind of like these really platform heavy stages, kind of like um, in Yoshi's Island 3, I think it was called, like in the first world. It's like these areas where they want you to like learn how to platform correctly. So, yeah, this is, I think, I, I don't want to say it's hard, but I feel like for the average player of this game, they're going to have problems with this stage. But in my opinion, it's not a hard stage at all. I'm not going to break the stage. It's just one of those stages you can kind of fly through. But uh, basically, you need to hit these switches on and off. Um, hit it off and then hit it on. And that's pretty much that. Gotta watch out for these freaking fuzzies. I hate fuzzies. Oh my god. I hate fuzzies. <laughs> Alright. These things are so stupid. Like, they have the dumbest look on their face. And they're just, like, antagonizing you. But you just need to stay on this top route right here. If you do fall, you can land on those little platforms down there. But I'm I'm not bad at this game. I feel like I'm actually decent enough. So, um, so we have, like, one of our first bonus areas. You can actually, if you don't want to come through here, you can just go through that pipe. Actually, if I... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say if I screwed up on the, that first one, I was gonna, I was gonna actually just go through the pipe and say screw it. All right, but we're moving along nicely. All right, and we got, we got actually did really well. I don't know if there's like a pattern to it, but I just feel like they're always random. I've never been, I've never been sure. And we actually screwed up like the little platform right here, like the rendering, like it's supposed to have three like this one. Let's see if we can get it to like reappear. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, yeah, I came back. <laughs> that's that's actually pretty new. That's never happened to me. All right, but if you did get 30 coins, you hit this block, you get an extra life. So make sure to get 30 coins in a stage. Make sure to always do that because you never know what stages will have it. Actually, I do know which ones, but on your first playthrough, I'm sure you, you'll want to get 30. 
uh, to rack up those extra lives. So like I said, Nintendo really wanted you to play that stage. That's like a platform heavy stage right there. Mario has 40 lives. What does Luigi have? Actually, let me see. Luigi has 23. I don't know why I'm getting more lives with Mario than Luigi. That's really weird. All right, we're going into our final stage before the castle. This is Donut Plains 4. Here we go. And I really do like this background right here. This nice and blue, uh, like the blue hills instead of the, um, instead of those green ones. Yeah, so, um, we have this little shell right here for some reason. Uh, whenever a yellow Koopa gets into it, or actually any kind of Koopa gets into a yellow shell, it turns invincible and it just, like, tries to kill you. Like, it's pretty much, it can kill anything at once. The only thing that, that you can kill it with, um, you can't hit it with fireballs, you can't, um, hit it with your cape. You can spin jump on it, so that's what I'm gonna do. Get out of here. Um, basically, uh, if you have a Yoshi, you can, like, fly with it and stuff if you eat it and whatnot. We have these little, um, pipes that go up and down and stuff, so, yeah. Let's go into this pipe right here, though. If you come into this pipe, there is a, uh, dragon coin if you're collecting dragon coins. Uh, I don't know, like, this area used to piss me off as a kid, just because of, like, these really skinny pipes, I could never platform those. And there isn't a dragon coin here. I thought there was, but I guess not. Alright, but, uh, we have the amazing flying hammer bros, as they're called. Uh, for whatever reason, hammer bros come back not as, um, like, their normal hammer throwing selves. They actually just fly and drop hammers on people. But, yeah, that's that. See if we can actually do this right, or we can just screw that up. What? Okay, I feel like I missed a Goomba. Like, okay, I guess not. All right, but let's go into this pipe right here because I think there is a dragon coin in here. So, yes, there is. And you can actually step on these, um, just to like get across. But honestly, I don't think you need that. All right, here we go. Got ourselves a checkpoint right there, and coming into this next area, we have ourselves a Yoshi. Once again, I don't know, I keep losing my Yoshis just like to be us, so it's good to have a Yoshi again. All right, but we're gonna, this is a roulette block, basically, um, basically you can kind of, um, wait for the right item. I know how the, the roulette works, so I know exactly what I want. Actually, the thing that's good about this game is that even when you knock it out, it, it'll continue to, to like roulette itself. Or I can lose my Yoshi, alright. Let's try that again. You can make it respawn as many times as you need. And here we go. Because I'm going to get this star. And I'm about to go ham. We about to go ham. About to let these Koopas know who I am. Alright, here we go. Holy crap. Time's running out. There we go. And that is pretty much that. I swear we're getting way more lives than Luigi. I feel like I'm going to hit 100 when Luigi might have like 50 or something. That's what it's looking like anyway. But there we go. Martin's castle. I feel like every episode this is going to happen. But Luigi's always going to end up with the castle. I don't know. Is it like so far that seems to be the uh, case. Anyway, we're going into number two Martin's castle. So here we go. One of my favorite castles in this game. Not my favorite. But this castle is actually pretty awesome. And, um, yeah. So, I want to actually show something right here. Actually, I screwed that up. Alright, here we go. Because I need to spin jump. Here we go, here we go. Oh, what the heck? Okay. I guess my spin jump didn't want to go through. Alright, let's try that again. Here we go. There we go, alright. So, uh, if you spin, if you spin your way up here, you can find a pipe that will bring you through this entire stage into the next section. Uh, and basically it'll give you like a bonus game like we've seen in Donut Plains 3, where you can get some extra lives. Um, but I'm not going to be taking that because I actually want to show this castle off and whatnot. And plus, I don't really need lives. Technically, I do with Luigi because he's kind of falling behind in lives. But, um, yeah. Alright, so basically, this little area right here, uh, you're just kind of going upwards. I find it really awesome. This is like one of the only times you're actually going the opposite way to go through an area. I don't know, like, it's a really small thing I like to note right there. And this stage does not have a checkpoint. In the, uh, GBA version, they actually add one. Um, I feel like this is, like, not the area to put it, because, like, that first section before, before the checkpoint on the GBA version is really short. I feel like it should have added like maybe halfway into this section because this is the longer part of the stage. 
But I like to refer to this as like the tower part of this of the game or the of this area because it looks like a tower and it's just like you're going upwards like a tower so and man the music for this area just really fits like the castle really fits for this area I don't know why all right but let's go upwards I think there is a extra life up here I feel like I don't know there's something like like there being no dragon coins on this stage in this version really just I don't know it's not as uh, fulfilling like to go through I feel like that's something the GBA version kind of did better was have dragon coins on this castle there we go if you spin right there with the cape you do get an extra life are you kidding me what <laughs> bro what? what are you talking about man all right <laughs> I feel like um like actually having dragon coins makes this stage a little more enjoyable to go through something about it all right, but we're making our way all the way up to the top. Don't touch those little triangles. Um, when I was a kid, I was like, when I, I was in like maybe kindergarten or something, I was like, oh, triangles and squares. <laughs> and I touched them and I died. So I learned that the hard way. So those are spikes, don't touch those. And here we go, we're gonna be fighting Martin Koopa. All right, for some reason he's he's green in this, uh, in this fight. Normally I think he's like a gray color and even in the credits, he's like gray. Like, I don't know why he's green. But basically, you need to step on his head three times uh, when he lands. Make sure to not be on the ground he'll, or he'll um, shock you for a quick second. And on his third hit, he'll move really fast. And the GBA version, it feels like he runs even faster. Maybe it's because the screen's smaller, but it feels like he's moving a little bit faster. I don't know. But there we go. That is that. Martin Koopa is defeated. Yeah. All right, and there we go. I feel like Luigi's gonna just get like every single castle. It just feels like that's what it's gonna be. But anyway, Martin Koopa Jr. of castle number two is now just a memory. <laughs> the now area is, the, the next area is the underground vanilla dome. What traps await Mario in this world? What will become of Princess Toadstool? I really do love how genuine the, uh, like the little things be after you beat a castle feel. It's like they call Iggy Koopa demented, and now and they said Martin is is a memory. I don't know. It's so funny to me because like you know Nintendo wouldn't say anything like that now because it implies death and stuff. Because Nintendo is so kiddy now. But back then, I thought I don't know. I feel like this is really cool. But um, yeah, that pretty much does it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, next time we'll be going into Vanilla Dome, one of my favorite worlds right here. Going into the underground area of the game. Um, that pretty much does it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. And until then, peace out. Y'all have a good night.